Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at solving quadratic equations by substitution. This is roughly about grade 7 GCSE. Please do download the worksheet, stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, compare your solutions. I look forward to seeing you inside the video. We've got this sort of thing um, that's going to give you 2x squared minus xy but we're going to do exactly the same thing so I'm just going to kind of walk this through fairly quickly here I'm going to get my value of y is x minus 2 well that's brilliant because I've already got that so I'm going to substitute then for the value of y and I'm going to write this as 2x squared minus x times x minus 2 equals 11 okay once you multiply all of that out you should get 2x squared minus x squared plus 2x, don't forget a negative times a negative is a positive, that equals 11. Okay, I need to make that equal to zero in order to factorise, so therefore I've got x squared plus 2x minus 11 equals zero, and that would be something that I can't factorise easily, so guess what, yet again, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, I'm going to say a equals 1, b equals 2 and c equals minus 11. Okay, pop that into the formula. Again, I do write these formulas out just because I think it's a bit better to try to remember them. Okay, and then it's really just a case of substituting as I've done before, and I'm going to write this out with um, a brackets. Okay, so plus or minus b squared is 2. Uh, squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is minus 11. Now you need to be aware that minus 4 times minus 11 is going to be positive 44. So I've got my two values of x. I've got x equals minus 2 plus the square root of 48 all divided by 2. And when I calculate that out, I'm going to get x equals 2.4. 464. Four. Okay. And then I've also got my value then of y, and that's going to be x. So y is going to be, again, I'm going to substitute that. Y equals x minus 2. Well, that's fairly straightforward to do. So therefore, I can work that out that y is 0 0.464. Okay. So again, it's two decimal places. X equals 2.46, and y equals 0 0.46. And that would be the answer to the first part of it. Uh, the second part of it is where we've got a negative discriminant. OK, so this is going to be y equals minus 2 minus the root of 48 all divided by 2. Beg your pardon, x equals, sorry, um, x equals that. OK, when I calculate all of that out, I'm going to get that x equals minus 4.464. Okay, again, write that out and substitute for x's to get your value of y. That's going to be minus 6.464. Bearing in mind when I've done that, the reason I've done that like that is because I've worked out that y equals x minus 2, or I've been given that bit of information. Okay, so therefore, x equals, uh, against two decimal places, minus 4.46 and y equals minus 6.46 and that would be the answer to that particular question so a bit of a whirlwind I uh, appreciate the video is taking a bit of time to kind of work through but that's just the way it is with these types of questions so the last question is one which is actually simpler to do but it's just presented in a in a different format really but it means exactly the same basically what we've got is a circle uh, here's my circle OK, on a graph, and these are all much the same. And then I've got y equals x plus 2. So basically, I've got a line that goes like that, and we're going to work out these points where it crosses the circle. OK, so all of these questions are very similar in their approach, really. OK, so I'm going to substitute for y. I'm going to write that out as x squared plus x plus 2 squared and that equals 34. Expanded out I've got x squared plus, um, I'll write this out properly, x plus 2 times x plus 2 equals 34. Okay so I've got x squared plus x squared again plus 4x plus 4 equals 34. That's going to give me 
2x squared plus 4x minus 30 equals zero. Okay, so hopefully that's no great mystery to you and you're absolutely fine with that. Now, to in order to factorise this, I'm going to divide through by two. It seems to kind of make sense just to uh, halve everything, make it a little bit easier. Okay, and you'll actually know that that will be able to factorise as x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 5, and that's all equal to 0. Okay, so therefore, I very easily, hopefully, got a value of x equals 3 and um, x equals minus 5. And then really, it's just a case of taking these two values and substituting them into our original uh, formula to get my value of y. So it's fairly Fairly straightforward this particular one right at the very end here we've got y equals x plus 2 so therefore y equals 5 so when x equals 3 y equals 5 and that would be the answer to that one when x equals minus 5 y is going to equal to minus 5 plus 2 so therefore y is going to equal minus 3 so I've got x equals minus 5 y equals minus 3 and that's the answer to that question and the end of this very very long video i'm sorry it's taken so long it is a higher level video but i hope it's been useful to you if you're not sure always add a comment below uh, i'll always respond and i look forward to seeing you inside the next video hopefully it'll be shorter <laughs> OK, so that's the end of these first few questions. Please do follow the link that will take you through to the rest of the playlist for the rest of the questions on this particular topic. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.